Who is it? Oh, it's Black Friday and Cyber Monday time. Well, that time of the year has come when we need to prepare for Black Friday. At the moment of filming this video, we have less than one month until the Black Friday Cyber Monday sale period arrives to Etsy. Especially because Etsy already started to push their sale event. I signed up with uh, both of my shops, but I think to have a successful Black Friday Cyber Monday event, it's important to start preparing now. And in today's video, I will talk about three tips that I think are crucial, a successful and yet profitable or very profitable Black Friday weekend. Depending on the size of your Etsy shop, I think these tips can be implemented within a few hours or a few days. They do not take as long of a time, but if you have multiple hundred items, like I do, I have actually in both shops over a thousand items. To implement all of these tips that I am going to talk about, it would take weeks, I believe, if not more. That's why my suggestion for the bigger shops who have more than 500 items, let's say, is to select your best sellers uh, that are currently your best sellers and select the ones that you would like to become your best sellers and focus on those because you cannot spread your attention too thinly otherwise you will be doing a lot of work and you will not get the benefit of your hard work if you are spread too thinly and nothing is done properly and before we get into this tip I would like to mention that uh, the waitlist for my course Passive Income with Printables is down in the description box down below. It launches uh, early next month and if you would like to be among the first who will know about the launch date and when the gates will open, please sign up down in the description box to the waitlist. And without any further ado, let's talk about the three tips that I think are crucial to have a successful and a very profitable Black Friday weekend. My very first tip is related to the fact that I said earlier that would be to select your best sellers and the items that you want to become your best sellers. And maybe these items are older in your shop, they have a few months or maybe even a few years. And now it would be the time to re-optimize your titles. As you know, a few months ago, like four or five months ago, Etsy updated their algorithm and now they have some new standards. And to adhere to these standards, you need to do some updating. And for this, I would recommend the tool that I use, and that would be Sales Samurai. As you can see on my computer screen, I selected this pet planner as an example for today. As you can see, my title is quite short and it's not the best because it doesn't have enough keywords. The description is okay, but I would like to update it. And I'm okay with the images, so we are not going to bother the images today. So now we are going to go to the tool that I use and that would be Sales Samurai. We are going to do a keyword research session for this. And let's type in Pet Planner. Now let's see the result. Pet Planner is considered a really good keyword and the competition is like in the middle somewhere. So it's not very overcrowded. The Google competition is high though. Click through rate 10%, that's a, a decent amount. Let's see what do we have here. Digital plat planner, that could work. Plat planner printable, that's okay. Printable pet planner. Uh, we, the stickers are not good for us because this is not a sticker. And let's see what else do we have here. It also works for cats and dogs, not just for um, one specific pet. So we can use the words cat and dog to niche down even further. Let's see what other tags we can find here. Pet care planner would go well as well. Okay, now, and here are the top listings. Okay, now, let's go over to Etsy and edit the item based on the keywords that we found here. We can just simply edit it from here. We will start with printable pet planner because that's the main keyword I want to go for because that's what this is, a printable pet planner. Now let's find another one that I think would go well in a title. Let's say pet care planner, I like that. Let's say digital pet planner.
Now, I still have a few characters left in my title, but I do not want to keyword stuff my title because Etsy might start defavoring this item because the title is too stuffy with keywords. Instead, the other keywords that we found together a few minutes earlier, we are going to incorporate into the description and into the tags, of course. If you don't have the colors filled in uh, at this point, it would be a good idea. When you are doing one of these optimization sessions, it's good to fill out all the missing information that's not there yet. I'm having it on automatic uh, renewal. That's what I do for almost all of my digital items. And when I see that something is not selling and it's just renewing and renewing, I will put it on manual mode and I will let it go out and it will expire eventually. So let's take our title and let's rephrase it somehow in the description so that it will be more of a cohesive text and not just keyword after keyword. I will start writing and we will catch up at the end. As you can see, I crafted uh, quite a few sentences out of the keywords that I wanted to use. And now we can move on to the tags. I already have most of the tags that I want to use, but I will add the, but I will remove a few and I will also add the that are more relevant these days because I have clearly the stats from Seal Samurai with the search volumes and the potential that those keywords give to me and this way I can make sure that my uh, item will get the most exposure as possible. Okay, that would be for updating this uh, item and now I will hit publish and now the modifications are live in my Etsy shop. That's how I would use Seal Samurai to update all of my keywords, titles and tags. You can use the code MSHF for 20% off your subscription to Sales Samurai. I think this is a great investment. This way you will be able to put your items in front of more eyes and consequently you will be able to make more sales. Now let's move on to tip number two and that would be to calculate, to set up, and that would be to set up your sale event and before you do that, calculate your profit margins accordingly. For digital products, this is much easier. When you are selling physical products, you have some other fixed costs or variable costs included as well. Also, we will use Sales Samurai for this because it is a very versatile tool. It can help you to calculate your profit at the end. So if you haven't set up your sale yet, you can do that very easily from the Etsy marketing section from uh, sales and uh, coupons. I showed you earlier how to do that. As I mentioned it at the beginning of this video, keep that bestseller item in mind. Think of the price of that item and let's go over to Sales Samurai and I will show you how to calculate your profit margin. So here we are in Sales Samurai and now we are going to go into the calculator tab. So yes, here we are under the calculator tab and now let's choose a nice round uh, sale price so that the math will be easier. So let's say the original item costs $10 or 10 euros or whatever your currency is. Let's say it costs 10 $10. First, let's talk about digital products. We don't have shipping costs, so we will leave it at zero. And the discount will be, let's say, 20%. Labor, material, shipping, Etsy ads, renewing. Yes, in this section, I'm going to leave everything at zero because I assume that I will be not running any ads. But if you do run ads, then you can add the one or a 0 0.5 or something here in the Etsy ads column. And if you would have physical products, then you could enter the cost of the material and your labor. You should always include your labor into items, but because we are talking about digital products and I created this item like two or three years ago, I think two, I cannot measure the amount of labor that I already put in in 2019 or 2020, if you know what I mean. So I will leave it at zero and we will consider the labor cost part already paid for this item and everything that we get is profit from now on. In this scenario, we will not have any off-site ads. The listing fee is the usual uh, 20 cents. And now when I hit calculate, 
sales samurai will calculate uh, the transaction fee the processing fee and here we will see the end profit that we will have so let's hit calculate we can see the results that the transaction fee will be 52 cents the payment processing fee will be 49 cents and the total of fees will be 121 now let's see the final price will be 8 because we had the 20% discount uh, we do not have the costs because in this case we are considering that we are not running any ads and I discussed the labor costs a few seconds ago the total fees are here and our final profit this means that we have 85% profit margin which is really amazing that's why I really like digital products because the profit margin is really high so by knowing your profit margin and your final profit you can play with the discount percentage so that you still make money but if you offer a higher discount percentage your sales volume could be even higher during the Black Friday period and my third and final tip would be to start preparing your social media posts right now like one month ahead because this way you will see the clear path how your feed will look on each platform let's say you have Instagram and TikTok you should start filming uh, reels you should start creating your posts in Canva which is really easy because Canva has lots of lots of pre-made uh, Halloween and Black Friday themed uh, templates let's check those out I also have a Canva Pro link in my description box if you decide to purchase Canva Pro I would really appreciate if you would use my link because that way you would be supporting this channel so that I could bring you more free content here on YouTube here we are on Canva and let's check what kind of elements do they have for Black Friday as you can see there are 9100 items for just for Black Friday let's see the items and maybe we could pick out a few that stand out even more I really like this one this one is nice too not that black but the color still stand but the color still st stands out all the sizes and all the shapes so you can pick and choose if you would like uh, anything from Canva and you can customize it with your own items. So those would be my most important tips to prepare for Black Friday and Cyber Monday weekend. You can do these steps starting right now so that by the time that weekend comes around all of your listings will be ranking as high as possible on the Etsy platform. Thank you very much for watching. Please check out the links in the description down below. Hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Consider subscribing to my channel and hit the notification bell so you will never miss another video in which I talk about digital products, making money online and business finance. See you in the next one. Bye bye.